Man, it feels so empty without having a four minute opening. I don't know what to do next. Hello, I'm Pazuzu. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hi, I'm Paul Zuzu, and I'm the demon currently possessing Cody Briscoe. Um, it's a little known fact, I work for the multimedia section of Hell, I'm an intern, and every single YouTuber in the commentary community is possessed by the devil. It's, it's, it's a little known uh, trivia fact. Cody is the only one who hasn't been possessed yet. And I was the one who was picked to go to him. Um, several YouTubers actually are currently possessed by demons, so... Say you're watching that L.A. Beast video, or, um... Uh, Levy is here. Um, Keemstar. We're gonna be taking a look at a video from Bob Larson, The Real Exorcist. Well, now I know what to do for my opening. Helena in Denmark... Y you look fucked up, dude. ...has a very unique question. It looks like your face is about to rise above, like, water and you're gonna come chasing at me in my basement. How good was that trailer? And the second one, girl... I think I have been possessed by a demon of some sort. I can't go to church without screaming and shaking. And I get this weird craving of meat. Uncooked raw meat. These are both things that Cody did before I was even in here. I don't know what to do. There's no way that this could be total bullshit. Do you have a do-it-yourself exorcism for me to use at home? Well, Helena, in fact, we do. I have a special four-hour DVD series. I can't believe somebody dressed like a preach is trying to sell somebody something. Some people say, why do you need four hours to teach somebody how to do deliverance on themselves? Well, it can be quite a risky, complicated process. You're going to be shoving crucifixes up your pussy and shit. Particularly in your situation. That's the only movie that I can possibly reference. But I would encourage you to schedule a Skype exorcism with me. <gasps> Bitch. I do these all the time, nearly every day, to people all over the world. I feel like you're close enough to the camera that that kind of microphone isn't needed could be some mental instability here. I'm not accusing you, I'm just saying. But let's assume that it's all very real. I'd also be interested in knowing if you have a reaction to sacred objects. For example, a Bible or something like our cross of deliverance. That's the only two things. Demons only go after Christians. Did you know that? All those, all those demons from the Middle East, you know, where they originated, they, they only come after white people. Some kind of childhood trauma. You know... That you may not even remember and may be dissociated from. That The last thing I want to hear is a priest talking about childhood trauma. The fact that you're trying to get money, like, let's pretend that this is really happening. The fact that you're trying to monetize this is despicable. That somewhere in your distant past, there is an ancestor who was a cannibal. One of your ancestors could have been a part of some kind of cannibal holocaust or something. And they did this. Well, you could have a demon passed on from that ancestor, a curse passed on from that ancestor. My ancestor was Jeffrey Dahmer. That's the one. That's... Um, a phone number just appeared on the bottom of the video, and it says you can call Bob and find out when he will be in a city near you. So, I'm going to do that. 
please hold? Um, yes, I can. Thank you. Can you believe it? You'd think they have some kind of music, right? Like, it's it just beeping? What phone call could possibly be happening? Okay, look, bitch. Do I have a book or something I could read comically? <laughs> oh my god, my battery's dying. What do I do? This can't be happening. Thank you so much for holding me, help you. Um, hi, I was just wondering to find out if Bob was doing any shows. So I know I'm currently possessed by a demon and my word isn't really worth much, but I swear that wasn't planned. And I think that might have actually been God intervening and stopping me from prank calling this guy. So after I'm done talking about this video, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm done with Cody. There's, trust me, there's not much interesting going on in there. Or, as I've described in some of our DVDs. Look, exercising a demon is really simple. You put a cross to their forehead and just throw them down a fucking staircase. In our school of exorcism. And in other questions that I have answered. That could be a reference to The Exorcist or to American Horror Story. That was a really good one. Please get our DVD series on self-deliverance. Please try to schedule a Skype session. Say your fucking username, please. Grow in him and have a normal Christian life. He took the curses away from me. Was he Bob Larson? Because he can help you. Oh, she proved it. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working... This is edited like Tim and Eric. If your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. Only $450 an hour. When I called the number after being on hold for a while, what I was told was, unfortunately, Bob Larson does not meet in any cities near me, so... That's a shame. He doesn't meet anywhere near me in California, but he meets in, I swear to God, I'm looking at this, Pershkotravinsk, Ukraine. How many fucking bumpers is this video gonna have? Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership. So again, as an intern, once I'm possessing somebody, I'm not allowed to return back. Um, there's an Adam Sandler movie like that, I think. So, I need to go to the nearest possible body. Get me out of this fag! I don't know what the fuck just happened. going on.